Hey guys, so I have my November favorites here today. Um, don't ask me about my hair. I have coconut oil in it right now, so it's, that's why it's up in a bun. <laughs> but um, let's get started. I'm going to start with the face products first, just because that's what I have the most of. But first, I'm going to talk about brushes. This is the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Complexion Perfection number 115, I think. Yeah. Um, anyways, it's super similar to the Sigma F80, the flat top um, kabuki one. I will say that this is a lot more fluffier and more dense, so it kind of covers more on your face. And, you know, it's pretty much the same, if not better. The only thing that I will say about it, though, is that product gets really deep into the brush, and so it's kind of hard to clean, which is a downside. But other than that, it's an awesome brush. You can buy them at Ulta. And um, you can buy them in stores, too, because I know Sigma is only sold online, so sometimes it's harder to get them. But I do recommend checking it out if you are interested in having like a flat top foundation brush like this. The next brush that I have to talk about is the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40. I prefer this one for my blush just because I feel like it's too fluffy for me to get the kind of contour that I want. But it's awesome for blush because it fits on my cheeks perfectly. Next, I have the Hourglass, what is this? The Ambient Lighting Powder in Ephralite. And I never hear anyone talk about this because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube sell tans, so they're probably way too dark for this anyway. But this is the lightest shade that Hourglass makes, and it's literally just a straight white shade. You like, you can't even see it on me because I'm. it's almost like the same color as me, but you can kind of see it. It just gives a really nice glow. I use this um, all underneath my eyes, a little bit on my chin, my nose, and the center of my forehead. And it is a white powder, but it gives like this, you know, glow to the skin, how the ambient lighting powders do. But um, yeah, I like that one. I used to use the MAC Pro Emphasize, but I would go through it so, so quickly. So I wanted to try that out and see how long I have it for. This next thing that I have to talk about is the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess, and I talked about this in my Ulta and Sephora haul. But this is not the matte version. This is, you know, the version that has the shimmer in it. And, I, you know, like I said in that video, I like um, on days where, you know, I'm lazy and I don't want to contour and put on blush. Yeah, I really like it so far. This next thing that I have is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this is in the shade Rose Gold. Now, I do like this. The only thing I have to say about it is, though, I can't put it on top of my cheekbones. Um, I have to wear this over top of a blush. I'm wearing it today. Really gorgeous, like, kind of rose gold champagne kind of shade. And you can use this as an eyeshadow, too. It does look really good as an eyeshadow as well. Now, this next one is the Amazonian Clay Blush from Tarte. And this is in the shade Prim. Now I got this, and um, this is like a limited, well I don't know if this shade is limited edition. I'll find out and I'll link it down below. But um, I got this with a holiday set. It comes with four mini blushes. And I like this one just because it's literally like your everyday kind of blush. These swatches are huge. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it looks like that. It's literally like such a neutral everyday blush and uh, this next one that I got is called a more and this is once again an Amazonian clay blush now this one is really fun oh sorry and then prim is matte as well um a more is not a more kind of has some shimmer to it but it's nothing that's like glitter on your cheeks and that one looks like that I'd say it's like a cool tone pink I don't think the camera is picking it up super well but um yeah, it's just a cool tone. The next blush that I have to talk about is the Too Faced Peach Beach. And this one, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. As you can see, it has like a lot of like shimmer in it. It has three stripes, shimmer, kind of like a satin finish, and then another shimmer. And I'm wearing this today over um, with that rose gold over. And so once you, oh my god, I made this one, it's just way too big. But um, once you mix them all together you get this really nice glow I don't find that it's like glitter on your cheeks but it is shimmery so if you don't like shimmer you probably won't like this one but yeah there we go yeah I really like it that could be your everyday blush 
because it already has that kind of glow and iridescence to it. Um, but moving on, next this is the, t oh, I don't know which brush this is. I think this might be the Air Buki. I think. I'll link it down below. But this is the Tarte Air Buki brush, and this is just, it's like the tiniest little, little thing. I use this to apply um, my powder. It applies because it's super, super dense, so it applies product like no other, and like, it gives you full coverage too. Next, I have my NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Light 1 Siberia. Now, my skin has been peeling in my cheeks, and I don't know why. I don't think it's the weather. I don't know if I used a product on it that my skin just didn't like or whatever, but um, dry and the places where it's been peeling. I've really been liking the NARS Sheer Glow this month just because my skin has been dry in those spots and this foundation brings hydration to your skin. Um, so if you are dry skin, like probably dry to normal, I'd recommend this one for you. Next, this is the Bare Minerals Miracle Mist. I talked about this in my Ulta haul and ugh, I love this. <laughs> But this, I don't know, like it makes, I don't know, it just makes your skin look really, really good. Like if you've overpowdered it, spray this. If you are really dry, spray this. Um, I mean, I'm sure, I haven't tried it um, like with my eyeshadows. I'm sure you could use it to make your eyeshadows more metallic and pigmented, but I haven't tried that yet. So I'll get back to you guys on that one to see how it works for it, but so far, I mean, I've only been using it for, like, you know, a couple weeks. So far, so good. I'm obsessed with it. Moving on to, I only have two skincare um, items here today, just because I feel like all my other skincare is, like, my yearly favorites, basically, because I've been using them for so long. But this one is the T-Zone Pore Refining Serum from Murad, and I... I suffer from larger pores in my um, like nose and cheek area just because that's where I'm oily and this has definitely helped with my pores because I've they used to be I don't want to say they used to be huge but they used to be pretty large and um, it's definitely helped shrinking my pores which is a huge thing for me and I never used to be like into serums and then I saw that one and I was like, oh my god, and it's from Murad, and I love Murad, so why not try it? And so far, I'm in love with it. This next thing is the Josie Moran Argon Cleansing Oil. This is, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just use this to take off my makeup. And I will say, though, it's, it's kind of thick. Um, that's the only downside to it, is that you do, I have to mix a little bit of water, you know, before I go in and remove my makeup with it. But other than that, I've had no problems with this. I have been looking for a cleansing oil for quite some time. Like, I used to use coconut oil, but here's the thing with coconut oil. <laughs> for some reason, my eyes do not like coconut oil. Like, I can put coconut oil on my skin, no big deal. But if I take off my eye makeup with coconut oil, my eyes will get inflamed the next day. Like, I'll be sleeping at night and just, I wake up in the morning and I look like a cyclops. And... It's happened multiple times every time I've used um, coconut oil to take off my eye makeup. So now I know what works for me and what doesn't. <laughs> but I do like this because it's super gentle. Um, you just do have to mix a little bit of water with it. Now this next one is hair care. This is Carol's Daughter Lisa's Hair Elixir Scalp and Hair Health Clarifying Sulfate Free Shampoo. This has eucalyptus and um, sage oil and lemon oil in it. Let me... Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But this is just a clarifying shampoo. Like, I would use a clarifying shampoo after I... Like, when I wash the coconut oil out of my hair because it clarifies your hair. It pulls out all the dirt, all the gunk and everything. You don't want to be using this every time you wash your hair. You maybe want to use it once, maybe twice a month at the most. I mean, it's a gentle enough clarifying shampoo that you can use it often but that's not what clarifying shampoos are meant for they're meant for if you have a lot of buildup I mean if you're constantly applying products in your hair like um, hairsprays and you know mousses and stuff then sure use it more often but moving on to lip products these first things that I have to talk about um, 
are these NYX lipsticks. This first one is the matte lipstick. I don't know. I don't know what shade this is in, but it says MLS 14. I don't know if that helps, but I mean, you guys will be able to find this no problem because it's it's literally brown. It's literally a brown shade, but I like this because it kind of reminds me of that Lime Crime Velveteen. I want to say it's in the shade Wicked, but I'm probably wrong. But I like this next product that I have to talk about is from NYX, and this is Power... <laughs> I don't even want to try and pronounce it. Power Pushins? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it looks like so. It's like I'd say it's like a cool toned lilac y purple kind of shade. And it's so gorgeous. It's creamy. It's pigmented. And it stays. But oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The thing that I have to talk about is the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. I mentioned this in my Sephora haul. And can I get it open? Oh, yeah, there we go. You guys have already seen this. Um, I explained it to you a little bit in my previous video, but yeah, so far I'm still loving it. It's moisturizing and it's not waxy, which I hate. That's why I hate the sticks, like the chap sticks actually, because they're so waxy. It's just like putting wax on your lips and I hate it. But moving on. This next thing is from Bite Beauty. This was like, this is for the holidays. I don't know if they still have this. Um, and I got it from Sephora. I don't know if they still have this. If they do, I will definitely link it down below because it's a really good deal. But you get this cute little tin, this cute little red tin, and it has, you know, Bite's um, little symbol on it. But it's this cute little tin. <laughs> it's this cute little tin. It's called like Best Bite. Remix or oh god, I don't know. I'll link it down below. But um, you get four mini shades of the high pigment pencil, I believe they are. And I mean, I do like all of the shades in here. I will say though that this one is my favorite, and it's in the shade pomegranate. I know a couple, I think two shades in here are limited edition, and then two of them are permanent. So, um, this is a red shade, and I like this because when it comes to red lips, I'm really lazy, and I want the easiest thing because I don't want to be like, ugh, like a, because I feel like when you go in with a lip liner, it has to be perfect, and um, it's just, it gets really messy, like a red lip, I feel like, and so this is just so easy. It's like your classic cool toned red. Yeah, it's just really gorgeous. I'm not going to swatch the other colors. I mean, I do love them, but I'm not going to swatch them just because the red is, like, really what I've been focusing on this month. Am I just doing this because I'm bored? Okay. This next thing that I picked up is Max, or, actually, I've had this for a while, but I've just started using it. It is MAC Platinum Pigment. This is a pro shade, so you have to go to a pro store or go online. If you are not a pro member, go online and buy it, because if you go to a pro store, you have to have a pro card. But anyways, this is platinum. This is what I was wearing in my Ulta and Sephora haul. I have it, I had it listed, but that, like, bam, like, look at that. Oh my god. This would be awesome for New Year's. And I think these are $21, which is, yeah, you're probably like, oh my gosh, $21, that's insane, like, but seriously, if you think how small amount you need, like, that was just, like, one little swipe in there, and it, like, that could have covered both your eyes. Like, you don't need a lot. So it would literally last you probably a lifetime, and that's not, like, an everyday shade anyways. I mean, it could be. No judgment. These next things that I have here, Ice Queen from Makeup Geek, but this is white with some... I wouldn't say shimmer, but it does have a sheen to it. And can, I, can you guys see that? Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I'm so pale, you can't even see it. And I love putting this underneath my brow bone and um, like on the inner corners for a highlight. I have tried to put it on my face before, and it's a little too white for a highlight, even for me. But other than that, it's an awesome eyeshadow. This next thing is texture. 
from MAC Cosmetics, and if you're curious as to why it's in the why it's in the tin, it's because I have them in the um, palettes. Because I like to build my own palettes, because it's just a whole lot easier. Texture is kind of like a caramel brown with... Um, it has shimmer in it, but you don't see the shimmer on your eyes. Looks like that. And I like this. You can use this in your crease. Like, I like to, what I do with it is I put it in my crease or I just put it all over the lid if I'm really, like, lazy that day and I don't really want to do anything. But it's just this really warm caramel brown shade and it's super pretty for fall. This next thing is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I have her brow wiz, I have her tinted brow gels, I have her brow powder. Um, and I kind of... Sometimes I'm in love with the brow wiz, sometimes I'm in love with the powder, sometimes I use just brow gels, but this month I've been loving the dip brow, you know, I just, I go through phases, whatever, but it's, it's like a hot mess right now, so ignore that. But other than that, it's an awesome product. I mean, it is more of a dramatic brow, but it, like, takes seconds, okay, well, probably not seconds, maybe it takes me, like, a minute in total fill, to fill in both my eyebrows, which is good because it already takes so long to do all of this. So I want something quick and fast for my eyebrows. I feel like with the brow wiz, you kind of have to take more time unless you have, like, perfect eyebrows, which I don't. But, you know. Okay, this next thing that I have to talk about is the Lorac Mega Pro. And I was really debating on showing you guys this or not because I know it's sold out. I know you can't get it anywhere. But I feel like if you were to buy the Lorac Pro 1 and the 2, I think you could pretty much... I mean, they're not the same shades, yes, but still, if you were to buy the one and the two, it'd be just, it'd be just as good. You can literally do everything with, okay, well, not everything, but you can do a lot. I'm going to swatch them on my arm. But my favorite, this is Camel. Oh, there's some black in that. Oopsies. But Camel, it's just a good blending shade. Mulberry. Ooh, look at it. This next one. What is this one? Oh, this is white. This is so, I look stupid. <laughs> this next one is opal. This one's granite. But they are so pretty. Like, look at that mulberry shade. Oh my gosh. And then opal on the end. And then, oh my, like, I just, I can't. They're all so pretty, I can't. But yeah, guys, that's it for my November favorites. I did order my camera. It should be here, um, I think sometime next week or within like a week and a half or so. And I'll see how I like it. Um, I'm, I'm just, a, it's a Nikon, which is a really, you know, it's a good camera, but I'm still a little worried and hesitant that the quality is not going to be the best. But um, we'll see how it goes. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.